Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, October 7th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're interested in learning more about technical analysis and how it can be used as a tool to make good decisions as a trader, then this will be a video for you. Before I get started, I do want to personally invite you to get signed up for this free live class that I'm offering on Thursday. So if you're liking what you see as I go and you want to learn more about the tool and how it can be used to build consistency, then like I said, I'm offering this class uh, very soon. It's totally free and it is live. So if you're interested, then on YouTube down in the description box, there's a link you can click on. Or if you're watching at my site, claytrader.com, then there's an area on the webpage there that you can click on to get signed up for. So like I said, no pressure or anything on my end, but if you're liking what you see, you want to learn more about it and you know how to, you know, why this tool is so powerful, then definitely get signed up for the class. First one here, ticker symbol PLTR, had the big news come out, had a big after hours on Tuesday, and then today, uh, you know, Wednesday, a whole lot of people talking about it this morning. And unfortunately, uh, almost one of those kind of buy the rumor, sell the news, news type things. Now this next comment will definitely mean more to those of you that have watched past top 10 videos. But for those of you that I have, I've talked about before this $25 level of support. But since then, you know, the price is broken down below there. So there is a or there's a rule in technical analysis that states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Now, are charts perfect? Are they the holy grail? I'm not saying that. But are they a tool that I truly do believe you should at least have in your trader tool belt? Absolutely, and here's a real life example of why. Again, I realize this will mean more to those of you that you know followed the last top 10 video I talked about PLTR. But you can see this level would be expected to be a resistance, acted as resistance there. And then once again today, right up on the gap up, that's literally right where it got rejected back to the downside so a very disappointing day uh, you know with the news the big gap up and then uh, all those gains were given up i mean the price came down there closed that gap and now the the one thing that and i'm not saying this will occur but uh certainly the area that you're going to want to you know keep a very close eye on and make sure nothing crazy happens in regards to it is going to be that level down there at the 23 dollars mark again not saying this will occur but just think about it. imagine if the price were up here after the gap up came all the way down here drifted down to 23 and then broke through there that would be a big sign of bearishness. Once again, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. I'm just trying to emphasize the importance of why that $23 mark is a very important level of support moving forward. But yeah, overall today, rough day, but the one area that I did also wanna map out as a potential breakout area right there around the 2390 mark. So this could be a potential reversal point that sends it back up to 25. So that's worth keeping an eye on. But yeah, and in my opinion, at least the main dynamic right now is, you know, will the price go down to 23? And if so, can it hold strong? Next one, VYGR, and fantastic setup here. Of course, like any setup, starts with the volume, and looking down there, you can see well above average volume. I shouldn't have mentioned this previously, but I'm doing the 30-minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. So throughout the course of the day, you can see now that there's been a very well-defined area of resistance moving forward right there. And then let me be very clear, I'm not trying to come across like I have some sort of special skill to have drawn that trend line. I'm not trying to say that that's a, some sort of great discovery. I assure you, people that use charts, understand charts, have seen that trend line and have drawn that in there. And I say all that because when people around the world are watching the same trend lines, wondering the same things, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. So really the big question mark moving forward, at least in my opinion, is you know, can the price get back up to that trend line and can it push up through it? And if it can, no guarantees, but is it at least a valid rational thought that a break of that trend line could you know, create another surge in momentum? Absolutely, so definitely keep a very close eye on that resistance area right there. For those of you that maybe prefer to play pullbacks, interesting pullback area, if there is any sort of bigger one, it's gonna be right there at $3.50. You can see the price went down there several times late morning, early afternoon, and to give credit where credit's due, uh, the bulls held very strong. But all in all, keep an eye on those couple levels here going into Thursday. Next one here, AMC, a very, very crazy day. Things were not looking so good out of the opening gates. You know, price gap down was spending essentially the entire morning, early afternoon down below that green line there at 36.25, which was not the, you know, the best of signs. However, to give credit where credit's due, uh, you know, AMC had a very solid, very strong afternoon, got back above that green line and is now staying up, you know, up above it. So therefore, the green line has ultimately held strong. Did things get shaky? Yeah, absolutely it did for a little while. Uh, but because we're now at the closing bell, it's all about where did the price actually close and the price was still able to close up above that area. So that'll be the main area to watch moving forward from the support standpoint. And then as far as areas of resistance, a couple levels to watch, gonna be that purple line there, 50 period moving average, 
$38 mark, and then kind of the golden goose level, meaning if this level can be broken, then while it doesn't guarantee anything, as I've already mentioned, it does make it a more than valid thought to be thinking, okay, wow, maybe the bulls are finally back, and that golden goose level is up there, that pink line there, the very well-known, the very famous 200 period moving average currently valued at 39.60. So overall though, uh, you know, given how things started to how things ended, I'd say it was a good solid day. So let's see if the price can build upon this momentum on Thursday. Next one here, ticker symbol CEI. And I, I think I'll probably retire this one uh, for a while unless something crazy happens to the upside. But talked about this in yesterday's video and drew out how there was this bear flag pattern. And while nothing guarantees anything, I don't think anybody was shocked to see that. Yeah, bear flag ultimately led to this going down below a dollar, which, you know, everything I talked about in, in yesterday's top 10 video. Um, so overall, the bleeding continues, the bearishness continues. And now it's, you know, back below a dollar. That's one of those areas where it just becomes that much harder to move because it requires so much energy to move even just one penny. Whereas when this thing's up about $4, yeah, it can go 10 cents, no big deal. But now for this thing to go 10 cents, I mean, that requires quite a bit of effort. So that's, I'm not saying that this thing can never, ever, ever make another nice move to the upside. I'm just saying the further and further it goes down below a dollar, just the more difficult it becomes for the, for the price itself to actually move. And really the main level of resistance right now that I would say to watch before having really any sort of, uh, you know, bullishness or hope or whatever you want to call you is that right there because as long as the price is down below that red line then in my opinion at least uh the bears remain in full control right now but like i said even if the price does break above that line that doesn't mean that everything's okay but it, it does at least lead to you know okay now you can start to think about maybe the bulls are back but as of now in my opinion like i said as long as the prices are down below that red line there should be, be no thoughts of even whether or not the bulls are back because the first step in that process would be let's just see if the price can even get above that tread line Next one here, ticker symbol BTBT, BT. did this one yesterday, and what another nice monster move here. Updates need to be done, and you've already heard me talk about this one update, but I'll do it again, and that has to do with the fact that within technical analysis, when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And in this situation, there has been a pullback here late day, but you can see that it's still nicely above that green line there, which, which is still a good sign from the overall perspective. H emphasis on overall. If you're a day trader and you bought right there or you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes, well then, okay, I understand from that perspective, things are looking a little rough. But from the overarching perspective, even with the price pulling back, and again, assuming the price just stays above that green line, I mean, think about what that would be telling you from the overarching standpoint. That'd be giving you a set of lows there, set of lows there, there, there. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, what do you have? Well, from the big picture, still very clearly have stair steps making progress in the upward direction. So moving forward, uh, you know, 1075 is that ideal level. But even if the price does drop below it, doesn't mean the chart's destroyed. But yeah, as far as, hey, Clay, you know, ideally what would make the chart look the best, that would be staying above 1075. But from the overarching standpoint, just continue to watch that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. And as long as the price stays above there, uh, then as far as the trend is concerned, the bulls are in full health. In regards to areas of resistance, pretty straightforward trend line right there. So you're going to want to keep an eye on that. And if the price can work its way back up to that area, give or take right around $12 and can break through there, well, then that could be uh, definitely a good leaning indicator that there's more momentum to come. Next one here, ticker symbol GROM. Very nice movement again, looking down there at the volume, well above average and good to see that the volume has returned like it did a few days ago. And now we have a couple well-defined areas and well-defined areas are always a good thing because it goes back to the whole self-fulfilling prophecy conversation we had already that when a lot of people around the world are watching the same areas, wondering the same thing, it can definitely create some good solid movement. And the level here that I think every breakout player and their brother's uncle is gonna be watching is right there at 575. Generally speaking, this 575 mark has presented some problems both there and there, so you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on 575 if there is any sort of attempted movements back to the upside. And if the price can get the push up through there, then at that point, next level, not until up there around, oh, that makes it easy, 675. So next level of resistance, not until a dollar away. That doesn't mean that it's gonna shoot straight up to 675, uh, but it, you know, the chart does open up in a sense of having some potential uh, wiggle room for the price to build some momentum. As far as areas of support are concerned, ideal level here that would be great to see the price hold is that tread line right there so let me change that to green actually to represent more of a support dynamic so keep an eye on that and then also like we just talked about for more of the overarching standpoint watch that purple line there the 50 period moving average so those will be the two main areas of support but all in all very nice move very nice consolidation now the big question is just can the price return back up there and get the break of 575 let's see what happens next one here ticker symbol a f r m probably the craziest uh stock craziest chart in in the market today I mean, crazy how this thing just kept going up and up and up. And it's several times right there. It looked like game was over. Nope, that 30-minute candle, big green, 
Okay, it looked like it was over. Nope, that 30-minute session, big move upwards. And then all of a sudden, we have an, another red candle here. So the last 30 minutes, yes, it was red. But given the track record of this thing, uh, maybe this is the top. Maybe there's going to be some sort of bigger pullback that happens. Uh, but me personally, I would be very skeptical because this thing right now has a track record of saying, hey, just kidding, this is not the top. Hey, just kidding, this is not the top. So, you know, this could definitely be one of those JK moments out there. Hey, just kidding. And, uh, you know, it can, can potentially return back upwards. But I mean, and I realize I state the obvious when I say this, but the momentum right now is clearly in the upwards direction. So as far as key levels to watch, as far as breakouts are concerned, key battleground going to be right, whoops, there around, what was that? Yeah, 138.50. I was watching this one near the end of the day. Uh, but didn't take any trades on it just because it was getting a little sketchy, and I'm glad I didn't because that last 30 minutes did pull back. But 138.50 going to be that main battleground point from the resistance side of things. As far as supports are concerned, keep an eye on that tread line right there. And again, let me change that to green to represent more of a bullish attribute. And then to make this a little bit more visually appealing, let's just make this all one color. So we have the resistance area there. We have the support portion there. We'll put the pull portion right there. Put the golf hole down there. And this would be known as a bull flag or excuse me, bull pennant pattern. So bull pennant pattern here on AFRM headed into Thursday. Let's see if the momentum can continue. Next one here, ticker symbol FAMI and a very, very intriguing chart here headed into Thursday. First off, this line that I've talked about in past videos, good sign, the price is now back above that area. So that step has now been completed. That resistance has been eliminated. So I'll get that out of the way. But really the big question just becomes, all right, is this movement the start of something much bigger? Now, don't get me wrong. If you bought down here, I mean, you're already up pretty big. You would say, well, Clay, no, it's already been the start of something much bigger. I mean, I'm doing well. And that's a fair point. You're not wrong at all. What I'm more so getting at is from more of the overarching standpoint, and in particular, in regards to this very, very, did I say very stubborn 42 cent mark? I mean, just going through the track record, generally speaking, 42 cent rejected the price, rejected the price. And then even today rejected the price. So again, it's Back to the conversation of self-fulfilling prophecy. There's going to be so many people watching that 42 cent mark. So while it doesn't guarantee anything, it is more than valid to think that, you know, if the price can work its way up to 42 cents and get the break of it, that break could very well create quite a bit of upwards momentum. So in my mind, that is the, the, the main dynamic here. It's all about 42 cents. Uh, now, granted, yes, it had a good day today, but is this day going to get better? Well, to me, that all, you know, kind of begins and ends with how does the price behave at 42 cents? So let's see what happens with it on Thursday. Next one here, ticker symbol NXTD. And I like this because of the very well-defined areas. So it goes kind of essentially, what is your strategy? How do you prefer to play things? So for those people that like pullbacks, well, the very well-defined pullback area on this one going to be right down there at 39 cents. Not only do you have a couple of times where the, the lows of the candles came down to that area, you also have both moving averages basically right on top of each other. Again, purple line being the 50 period moving average, pink line being the 200 period moving average. So while that doesn't guarantee support, it does make it more than valid, more than rational to think that 39 cents could provide support. And that's the power of charts is they're helping you avoid random decisions, right? As traders, if you're just doing stuff randomly, uh, that's just gambling. You're never going to have success. We want to be making logical decisions. And, you know, there's no such thing as a guaranteed decision. But if they're, ra if they're rational, if they're logical, such as 39 cents, then, you know, you, you can start to, uh, you know, tilt and put odds in your favor. So 39 cents, definitely that key level of support. As far as levels of resistance and the other well-defined area, didn't we just talk about 42 cents? Or am I crazy? I, I have to check. I feel like I'm crazy right now. FAMI, wasn't 42 cents the key level there? I'm not crazy. Okay, well, I think this is the first time in the history of uh, this series that, okay, 42 cents, once again, it's going to be the main area of resistance. So 39 key level of support, 42 key level of resistance. Let's see what happens. Next one here, ticker symbol ANY, been on the top 10 list many times over the past uh, few months, uh, but definitely needs to be returned back on after today's price movement. Good, solid volume and a very, very nice pattern, which uh, is kind of being the, the trend here all of a sudden. Just well-defined areas. A lot of areas that people are going to be watching, so you can get that self-fulfilling prophecy attribute of things. But first off, just the I, general level up here at $7.10, very key level of resistance, so you're going to want to watch that. And then as far as supports are concerned, a very nice overall support trend line right there. So as you know, I'm going to change that to green to represent support. And then finally, maybe you already know which lines you want to be drawing. So we have resistance, we have support, we have our pull portion, and I, you could call this a bull flag, bull pennant. I mean, have a way to argue whatever it should be. But the point here being bullish move today, the price is now consolidating. And now just the big question moving forward is who is ultimately going to win out of this pattern? Are the bears going to win out by pressing the downside 
or the bull is going to win out by pressing the upside. That'll be the big question mark headed here into Thursday, but there's no doubt about it. This one has formed a very solid technical pattern. So let's see what happens with it on Thursday. And that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw and if you want to learn more about this tool of technical analysis and how it can make you uh, help make good decisions, how, how it can help you avoid random decisions, then definitely get signed up. It'll be, like I said, Thursday, October 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So get signed up and I hope to see you there. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, it, I, I'm very confident it'll be worth the investment of time that you put into it. And then as far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you like this format, then please communicate that to me by hitting that like button and leaving a basic comment. It could be saying hi. It could be a ticker symbol that you watch today. But those two things communicate to me that putting these videos together is worth the time and effort. And as long as I know that it's worth the time and effort, and I have no problem continuing to do them. Like I said, but all I ask is a little communication feedback from you, and you can do that by hitting the like button and a very, very simple, uh, you know, bit of feedback or just a comment down below. So if you, like I said, you want to learn more about charts to build consistency, definitely get signed up for the class. Everybody take care. Have a good one.